Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Mod Fallout New Vegas. Let me just adjust my mic. Okay, now we head off to, uh... Where are we going to again? Ah, well, we'll figure it out. This Howdy. guy, Wasteland Adventurer, is actually cut content. Re-added through, um... Uh, what was it? New Vegas Uncut, or... Something like that. Fall at New Vegas Uncut. Just search it on the Nexus, I'm sure you'll find it. Now, I could see why they cut this guy, because... Peace, Traveler. Which way to Pram? Sign says you go south. Just look for the roller coaster. Oh, and don't go north. A caravan just got sacked up the road. What if I go around the caravan? It just gets worse the further north you go. Death claws. Death in general. But it's your ass, I suppose. Who are you? Just a hunter out here killing things and hoping their hides fetch more than the bullets cost to kill them. Do you have anything to trade? That's a dangerous question. Ask the way a bandit might ask. But since we're close to town, I'll trust your good intentions. Let's trade. I could use some stim packs. How about some nice bloat fly steaks and trade? Yeah, so basically, he, uh, well, he just, uh, tells you a whole bunch of stuff that the devs found out a better way to tell the player, so he's basically redundant. And, uh, yeah. I can see why he was cut. Oh, and an update on the plot. Well, uh, or not really an update. Oh, whatever, whatever. Again, we've been shot in the head, and our. Oh! What the. It. Where? Where? Ow! Ow! Ah! Where are you? Okay! They're dead. Now, back to the plot. As you know, we were shot in the head, left dead, and then we're saved by some random robot. Don't touch Mr. Killingsworth. And, uh. Yeah. Uh, my head's not. Uh, Yes, we were saved by the robot, blah, 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 blah. The guy apparently was looking for the platinum chip we were hired to, uh, move. And, uh, where is my head today? And basically the plot gives us many, many reasons to continue through to the main quest. One is simple revenge for the guy that tried to kill us. One is curiosity as to what the uh, platinum chip is. Uh, hey, six, you ever been to Denver? Strange place. Everyone lives in the sky. This one time, we get really drunk and one guy fell off. Then he got eaten by dogs. I like dogs. It's a pretty fun place. <laughs> that is actually a reference to a completely different mod on the Nexus, Dog City Denver, which I need to install, but haven't. Anyway, uh, there's also the whole mercenary uh, reclamation team, so we don't deliver the package, etc. But if all of these reasons to follow through the main quest aren't enough for you, you don't have to. That's the beauty of Fallout. You can just ignore the, uh, the main plot and everything. And just do whatever the hell you want. Let's see. Okay. And for the record, my mind is in an odd place right now because I almost died last night. And I'm currently feeling very ill. Uh. So yeah, that's why 
this episode and the previous two episodes have been a little odd. Ugh. So, anyway. Uh, I should heal myself. Assuming I can. Yes, I have a doctor's bag. Doctor's bag. Okay. I continue on. And let's let's avoid that. I know there's powder gangers there. Powder gangers are bad. Is this? Yep. Okay. Testing out the grenade key, the grenade hot key for uh, Project Nevada. Normally, you have to equip grenade items like any other weapon. I also turned down some useless graphic settings to uh, improve how in improve the frame rate. Seems to be working. I had the I don't know if it was anti-analyzing or what set up to 15 freaking samples. And uh, yeah, I usually run without anti-analyzing on most games. Now I've got set to two samples. Just you know, why not? I cannot see anything. <laughs> yes, welcome to Fallout. Where nights are dark. I should turn on my light. There we go. Wow, that barely does anything. And this. Okay. Yes, the little pit boy light. Something's over here. Uh, you you should be able to see a very very tiny arrow on my compass that uh, shows an undiscovered location. Weatherwise, it's such a lovely day. I'm starting to like this guy. Just say the words and we'll be the birds down to walk Pulco Bay. It's perfect for a flying honeymoon. They say. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Oh, I want to hear him sing. Alright, so some random... Keep out. Lone Wolf Radio or something, whatever this thing is called. You already saw it. I wasn't paying attention and wasn't reading. Alright, what we got here? Graph Electronics, Wasteland Survival Guide, a book that was written in back in Fallout 3. Strange how it got here in only four years. I'll ignore that. And to this place, it seems like it's been abandoned for a long time. I'm just giving you a good shot of the graffiti. I don't even know if you can read this stuff. Let it all in. Huh. Intriguing. Let's have Nana carry more stuff. Okay, but I know exactly what's in there. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently he's not too smart. I don't mind though. I have enough smarts for us all. Article. Yeah, the the Wasteland Survival Guide is one of the skill books. As in, instead of skill magazine, skill books actually permanently raise skills by small amounts. It's usually two, but if you have a the right perk, it can be increased. But really, perks that give you more skills are generally useless. Especially with whole 50 maximum levels. Because at that point, I think just increasing intelligence would give you more. Because you can increase base stats with perks too. Hello? Okay, yeah, 
uh, all that bonuses to reloading speed, which is kind of bugged. Oh, these guys have passing issues. And we'll die. There, violence. That's what you guys are all looking for. You don't care about the plot. You don't care about the mods. You just want the violence. And maybe Kelsey Love. Which, again, as I said in the thread, I should be getting to sometime tonight. Which you'll probably see in a few days, because it takes forever for these videos to upload to YouTube. Brock Flower, Brock Flower, mine. Must make more healing powder. And uh, you can actually use these to make stim packs. Which apparently suggests that Brock Flower and Xander Root are not mutations, but Perhaps some genetically engineered plant that got out of the lab and spread everywhere really fast. That's my uh, theory. It's never really explained. Crap. Where are you? Ow. Aha! More violence. Where is Niner? Ah, oh, there he is. Get stuck behind the terrain there? Yeah, I haven't even gone through his dialogue yet. I should do that soon. Mm, can I fit inside of three minutes? Let's see. What's up? Tell me about yourself. Questions? Okay. Go for it. How do you prefer to fight? This is a standard question with almost all followers. I'll be honest with you. I ain't much of a marksman. I'm more of a skirmisher, you know? I'm pretty handy with a shotgun. Or an SMG. Anything that keeps me light in my feet and at the front of the fight. If things get up close and personal, I can hold my own. Just don't want to expect me to be taking out power armor goons with a bat. So, Finis isn't your thing? Nah, not really, man. Blunt and efficient is the way to be. Yeah, I agree. We're gonna get along just fine, you know that. I was a breaker in my old gang, you know? I've always been fast on my feet, and I know how to throw enemies off their game. I'll set them up, and you knock them down, eh, pal? Where are you from? Ain't too sure where I was born, but I spent most of my life in California. What's it like there? It's safe enough, I guess. I grew up in a town run by the NCR. Most kids just wanted to be soldiers. They see the guards with the uniforms, and the way people respected them. We all looked up to them, you know? I guess I had a pretty cozy life compared to most kids out there. Isn't that good? Nah, man. I hated it. Being kept like that it made me feel uneasy. Why'd you leave? Lots of reasons. Most of my friends, they went off to the NCR training camps when they were still young. Some became farmers. See, that's what the average kid in California can look forward to. Being a soldier or being the guy who feeds the soldiers. I decided to leave when I was still young. I doubt anybody even noticed. Yeah, this... Uh, what he's saying is actually very, very accurate to uh, NCR society for going off everything else in the game. Not even your family? Come on, man. I ain't gonna talk about that. Uh, well, uh... Sounds selfish considering they raised you. I didn't ask to be raised, okay, man. I could've survived out in the wastes. If they want to raise future bullet sponges, they're just gonna have to accept every once in a while one of them's gonna open their eyes. Alright then. Goodbye. Okay. See ya.